He said, I don't care about them Frenchmen over there. They never should have left Louisiana and gone over there in the first place. <laughs> for you to see me, I guarantee. Hey, y'all know how I like to tell my stories. Here's a legend who is the best storyteller anywhere around. I'm talking about Justin Wilson. He was one of my favorites, for sure. And here he is now with a great one. I think I'd tell that story first. I, I, I knew an old man in, in uh, Lafayette had a big bakery over there in uh, Lafayette. And they had the Bustani built a store right across the road from him in Lafayette. The road was a straight road in Lafayette, it's hard to find. And uh, his name was Yuval. And Mr. Yuval owned a bakery and a very fine caged gentleman. And I never will forget, I was standing there and they had a, 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 a policeman named, named Guidry. I knew him real well. And uh, they put a, a, a traffic light up there. Mr. Yuval backed out of his bakery in his Cadillac automobile and just ran that red light like, like he didn't even know it was there. And, and of course, Guidry blew his whistle and stopped him, and he knew him. He walked up and said, Mr. Uval, did not you see that red light up there, huh? He said, yeah, but I did not see you, no. <laughs> I feel like I want to tell you another story. I'm going to tell you this story. It happened down in Kaplan, Louisiana, at a meeting that they were having. Some kids were having a meeting there, put a nice side meeting. And it was during World War twice. And uh, excuse me, I got hay fever. At the meeting, somebody said, you know, them German done overran Abbeville. One of them jumped up and said, well, oh no, not Abbeville, Louisiana, no. Abbeville, France, they done overrun it, took it. It has fallen to the Germans. And that is a shame. And then five or four more said, ah, I feel so bad about that. One of them said, not me. How come you don't feel bad about that? He said, I don't care about them Frenchmen over there. They never should have left Louisiana and gone over there in the first place. <laughs> 